I basically went to the festival with two strangers. <laughs> hey guys, it's Paige. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am headed to my first ever music festival in London with my new friends, Megan and Emma. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Wait, 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 so our option was either to take the tube and walk 13 minutes, walk 22 minutes, or take two buses and it take like an extra 15 minutes to get there. So we're walking and uh, we still have, how long to go? Too long. Uh, we still have like 15 minutes to go. That's not okay. that bad. <laughs> get your steps and it's fine. That's right, I'm good. I have my Fitbit on. <laughs> get my steps in. But um, I've never been to this part of London. Like I feel like every weekend I'm exploring a new part. So this is cool. Never been to this park. I've only ever been to Greenwich Park. I still haven't been to like High Park or any of the like major parks in London anyway. So this should be cool. <laughs> Megan, Emma. <laughs> Who are you most excited for? Most today is a lot. Like, a lot. What about two chains? What about two chains? Tomorrow's a mix of cupcake and Lizzo. Oh, yeah. Lizzo and cupcake about to take like I would be a whole different person if they come off. But like two Yeah. Oh, I'm ready for truth hurts. Like I'm gonna go. Like let me tell them. Hold up. I'm about to go off the truth hurts because that is my anthem right now by Lizzo. Truth hurts. If you've never heard that song, stream it right now. She's gonna start playing the flute and twerking at the same time. I'll be like, okay, damn. Ready for it. Like, I'm ready for this. Ready. Okay, so that's the feminist movement I just. <laughs> Honestly, I just want to be two chains as long as that has new music. I'm down. I, I love, love two chains. <laughs> I need all of his verses, like, I'm here for it. You're right. I'll cut it down a little bit. It's our first British music festival. I'm actually hella excited. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Like, this is going to be cool. International girls in England. Yes. <laughs>
gotta let us know. We need a review. We need a review. We need a review. Oh. Okay, let's get out of here for that guy follows us. <laughs> Ice cream in the UK tastes better than the US. Like, I don't know why, but it just does. We got some ice cream, some overpriced ice cream. Some but it's overpriced ice cream. She just left. It's okay though. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Look, it's up my phone. I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. You're stand here to take a picture. Oh, thank you. that I get to come and see all these black and brown faces and I am looking at you. 
This album has been so special to me because I've been able to speak things into existence that I was very, very afraid of. And so when I get home, it's really about allowing the spirit into my space and telling it to use me. And so when I'm saying things I imagine 50, 1100 times, <laughs> Maybe on the first time, I didn't really believe in things I imagined. Maybe on the second time, I kind of believed it, but I was faking the funk. But maybe on the sixth time, I started to believe it. And so that act of repetition has been very influential for me because it's allowed me to reaffirm things that I know I'm going to see. Being here on this stage with you guys tonight, I knew I was going to seek this. Yeah. Here. And my son is here, even though I keep telling him to go to the stage because I keep getting distracted, trying to do my little struggle twerk and seeing him here. But part of my other practice is just joy. I experienced happiness before I experienced peace, but joy is a real special one. What did you guys think of Love Box Day 1? Day 1, not as good as Day 2 will be, but very good. Day 1 was great! Day 1 was good. Day one was good. Day one was good. Tomorrow's going to be life changing. I think today was really is phenomenal. Yeah, Solange is always amazing. Yeah, so nice. So we're excited for day two. Can't wait for day two. I'm so tired, but so tired. Gonna get up nice and early so yes. we can be here even earlier. Tomorrow. Even earlier tomorrow. See you guys later. <laughs> Good morning guys. Okay, so yesterday I did not get to do a proper intro. I kind of just threw you guys into the festival with me. So today I wanted to make sure that I had a chance to do that. So I heard them and got dressed. But um, yeah, today is day two of Love Box Festival. I'm super excited. Day one was awesome. I had so much fun. And I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background. So you saw that I went with two girls yesterday, right? Well, <laughs> yesterday was actually the first day that I've ever met them, like in person. I know that that sounds crazy, but basically back in February, I bought tickets for the festival. Um, I had just moved here. I had no idea like who would want to go to this festival with me. But this move has been all about just like doing what I want, taking risks, and just trusting that it'll all work out. So I bought the tickets. I didn't know if I was gonna end up having to go alone, which I really didn't want to. I went to my first concert alone here in London back in March, and it was fine, it was cool, but I feel like for an outdoor festival, I wanna be with people. Like, I need someone to take my photos. Like, I wanna walk around with people. It's just way more fun to me that way, so. Yeah, I basically put a call out on Instagram <laughs> and I was like, is anyone going to this Love Box Festival? Because uh, if I don't find someone to go with me, I'm not going. And I actually got a lot of responses. And one person that responded was Megan, who you guys saw yesterday and you'll see her again in a little bit. She was like, yeah, I'm from Toronto and I'm actually here studying in Manchester. I also wanted to go to the festival. So I bought tickets for me and my sister and she's flying in from Toronto. So if you want to join us, be our guest. Uh, so so we met for the first time yesterday <laughs> and we went to the festival together and had an amazing time. Um, so happy that I put that on Instagram. I do not have one of those good like full body mirrors, but this is my outfit of the day. It's a dress I got from this website called Missy Empire, I think. It has like a slit in it. <laughs> I have on the proper shoes today. I had open toed shoes on yesterday, which was a fail. I don't know what I was thinking. It takes me an hour and like 10 minutes to get over there so gonna go now so i'm not late okay so i have my little fanny pack here things that you must have your cards cash don't look at my card number <laughs> um <laughs> definitely portable chargers so i need to get like one really good portable charger that charges your phone like multiple times but i'm cheap so i have like four chargers in my purse that only get my phone up to 25 <laughs> <laughs> and another thing that's really important guys is toilet paper because a lot of these porta potties run out and then you know you're just out of luck so definitely keep toilet paper in your bag oh hello we're ready we're ready for the festival, festival ready <laughs> looking like a mermaid princess because you know 
Ariel is black. <laughs> <laughs> Glitter, yeah! Y'all cute or whatever. <laughs> we're here and we're ready to have Lizzo change our lives, truly. That's that's the goal of the weekend. I'm so excited. I could even start crying. I just need Lizzo to remind me that like, <laughs> men aren't important. If I cry at um, Cupcake, just don't mind me. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> no, I'm gonna pull out my camera. <laughs> What's good? Too much. Too much happening. <laughs> Everyone's walking towards the festival. <laughs> the like check-in process to get into Love Box is really quick and easy. I just check your bag, check your tickets. It doesn't take long at all. Maybe the girl. Oh, maybe she took it there. Yeah. Well, you can't get. So I'ma make sure everything go right. 